on the topic of consciousness, you know, there's so many components to even just removing consciousness from the data set. Emotion, the display of consciousness, the display of emotion feels like deeply integrated with the experience of consciousness. So the hard problem seems to be very well integrated with the actual surface level illusion of consciousness. So displaying emotion. I mean, do you think there's a case to be made that we humans, when we're babies, are just like GPT, that we're training on human data on how to display emotion versus feel emotion, how to show others, communicate others that I'm suffering, that I'm excited, that I'm worried, that I'm lonely and I missed you and I'm excited to see you. All of that is communicated. That's a communication skill versus the actual feeling that I experience. So th th we need that training data as humans too, but that we may not be born with that, how to communicate the internal state. And that's in some sense, if we remove that from GPT-4's data set, it might still be conscious, but not be able to communicate it. So I think you're gonna have some difficulty removing all mention of emotions mm -hmm. from GPT's data set. I would be relatively surprised to find that it has developed exact analogs of human emotions in there. I think that humans have, will like have like emotions, even if you don't tell them about those emotions when they're kids. Um, it's not quite exactly what various blanks blank uh, slatists tried to do with the new Soviet man and all that. But, you know, if you try to raise people perfectly altruistic, they still come out selfish. You, you try to raise people sexless, they still develop sexual attraction. Um, you know, we, we have some notion in humans, not in AIs, of like where the brain structures are that implement this stuff. And it is really a remarkable thing, I say in passing, that despite having complete read access to every floating point number in uh, the GPT series, we still know vastly more about the the architecture of human thinking than we know about what goes on inside GPT, despite having like vastly better ability to read GPT. Do you think it's possible? Do you think that's just a matter of time? Do you think it's possible to investigate and study the way neuroscientists study the brain? which is look into the darkness, the mystery of the human brain by just desperately trying to figure out something and to form models. And then over a long period of time, actually start to figure out what regions of the brain do certain things, what different kinds of neurons, when they fire, what that means, how plastic the brain is, all that kind of stuff. You slowly start to figure out different properties of the system. Do you think we can do the same thing with language models? Uh, sure, I think that if, you know, like, half of today's physicists stop wasting their lives on string theory or whatever. <laughs> Strong and, words. <laughs> and, and go off and study um, what goes on inside transformer networks. Um, then in, you know, like 30, 40 years, uh, we'd probably have a pretty good idea.